All right, so in the last video, we went ahead and set up our core template, core theme with uh, an index, a header, and a footer file. And we also implemented the main post loop, but we don't have anything else. We just have the title. We need to fix that. Um, but before we do that, I want to make it so that we can actually add images to our posts. Because right now, if we go and we try to add a new post, we don't have a featured image area. So we're going to have to create a functions.php file. All right, and for now, I'm just going to close all these out. Okay, so let's say new file, and we'll call it functions.php. And we're going to create, let's create a function, and we're going to call it theme setup. Okay, let's add featured image support. So we'll say add underscore theme underscore support. And we want post thumbnails. Okay. And then underneath the function declaration, we're going to say add action. Uh, and then in here we want to pass in the hook that we want, which is going to be uh, after setup theme. Okay, and then the function that we want to use is theme setup. All right, let's save that. And now if we go and reload, now you can see we have a featured image area. So let's create a couple categories first before we add a post. Let's say technology. Let's say food. Entertainment. Business. Okay. I only want... Um, technology okay so for the title we'll just say blog post one and I'm gonna grab some text from lorem ipsum paste that in and then we need to select a featured image so I'm gonna choose you should have these in your in your um, program files project files but I'm gonna choose this image of the Microsoft Surface and set featured image and publish okay if we go back and we reload you can see that it is seeing that post but uh, it doesn't look too good all right so let's add one more we will say add new this will be blog post two. paste some text in let's choose food for a category and then Upload an image. We're going to choose the burger image and publish. All right, so now we have a couple posts to work with. And we have kind of an issue here because we're putting the image in its own column inside of the post. And some posts aren't going to have images. For instance, the Hello World post does not have an image. So we need to have some kind of conditional where we'll say if this post has an image then whatever format it a certain way and then we'll do an else and if it doesn't have an image we'll format it a certain way so let's go into our index file and I'm gonna make this a little bigger okay so we have our loop here we have a row Let me just indent this a little all right, so what we'll do is right after the, <clears throat> excuse me, right after the row div is where we're going to check to see if there's an image. So we'll say PHP if uh, has post thumbnail. And down here, we'll say PHP else.
and then let's do PHP and if okay so if there is a, a, a thumbnail then it's going to show this which is a three column and a nine column but if there is no thumbnail then we want it to be a full 12 column okay so we'll turn that to 12 get rid of that so we'll start with um, posts that have the thumbnail I'm going to get rid of this text and what we'll do here is create a div with a class of post thumbnail okay and then here we can say the post thumbnail all right so let's take a look at that so far okay so it's showing the images they're um, insanely big but that's all right the functionality is there uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap the posts in an article tag we're gonna go right inside the while loop and we'll say article and we're gonna give it a class of post and we we'll want to end that down here Okay, and now we'll go into our style CSS folder, our file, and let's say uh, article dot post image, and we're going to set the width to a hundred percent. Okay, it's going to be a hundred percent of its container. We're also going to set the height to auto. And let's do margin top 30 pixels. Okay, so that looks much better. Now let's go back to index and back to, uh, we want to go right here where we have this title. Now we want the title to be a link. All right, so let's go right here and let's put in an A tag. Okay, and then that's going to go to, uh, we want to do echo the permalink. All right, and that should be a link to that, to that post. All right, and now under the H2, we're going to put our metadata. So we'll put this in a paragraph. We'll give it a class of meta. And let's see. Let's say posted at. And then we can get the time by using PHP the time. We'll say on and then we'll do the date. And let's say by open up some strong tags. And in here we want the, the um, author's name. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we'll say PHP the author. And that should be a function. So let's make sure that's working which it is okay you can see it's telling us the time the date and also the author and this is a link if I click on it, it takes us to that page or that post now what we want is the excerpt of the content but not all of it we're gonna use excerpt instead of content because that'll give us um, it'll truncate it alright so let's go We want to still be in the nine column div, so we'll go under, under this paragraph. And let's say div class excerpt. All right, and then let's do PHP echo 
get the excerpt. Okay, let's see if that works. All right, that looks good. Now we want also want a read more button, so we're going to go right under that. And let's say a class we'll use bootstrap class btn and then btn default. And let's see href we can set that to the permalink. All right, and then for the text, we'll say read more. And for the, uh, the arrow symbol, we can use ampersamp R A Q U O semicolon. All right, so let's take a look at that. And there we go. Let's put a line break right above it, though. So now what we want to do is take care of the posts that don't have an image. Okay, right now the hello world post doesn't and it's not showing up because we haven't put any any um, code in that yet. All right, so let's go. Where is it? We're checking for the thumbnail here and we say else and then this this div is where um, the code for the post without an image will go. So what we'll do here is let's put the title. So I'm going to grab this copy and then we want actually we'll just copy the rest of it. So the meta the meta class here, the excerpt and the button or the link. So we'll copy that and put that right under the title. All right, let's see what that gives us. All right, so now we can have posts without images and not have just an empty space. All right, if we didn't do the conditional, then uh, this would just have an empty space where the image would, was supposed to go. Okay, now I want to add a little bit of CSS to make this look a little better. So let's go to style CSS and let's see, let's do article dot post and I want to put a border on the bottom of each post so this will be gray solid and one pixel all right and let's add some padding we'll say padding bottom 20 and margin bottom 30 Okay, but the last one, the last article or post, we don't want to have a border. So what we can do is say article dot post and then use um, last child to target that last one. And we'll set border bottom to uh, none. Okay, so the metadata, I also want to have a little bit of style, so we'll say article.post.meta, and we're going to give it a background, Oops. we'll give it a background of very light gray, and let's see, we're also going to have to add a little padding. We'll say eight pixels by twelve pixels. All right, and let's say color. We'll make it a dark gray. So let's save that and reload. And now that looks a little better. So we're going to go ahead and stop here. And in the next video, I want to get the nav bar set up with the uh, custom walker class. All right, so we'll get into that next.